Jess Ikes wasn't planning on leaving L.A. anytime soon. And at this stage in life, she definitely didn't think she'd be moving back in with her folks in Vero Beach, Florida. It's very embarrassing to feel like I'm a grown person who can't pay my bills, but I know I'm not the only one. She's in the industry, as they call it here in L.A., and even though she's not a writer or an actor, the ongoing strikes in Hollywood have left her out of work for months, leaving her to pack up over 20 years of memories. Oh, I have to think about what will fit in a 10 by 10 storage unit. So that has been stressful. Ikes is one of hundreds of thousands who have done the work that have helped Hollywood tick, working as location manager on shows like The Dropout. What if you could test your blood in your own home? And what if it wasn't a whole vial, but just a drop? And hacks. It's going to be hard to work together if we can't communicate. We don't work together. You work for me. You're making it really hard. Most people think, oh, people in Hollywood, they, they must be actors or producers mm. or writers. What is it that you actually do, Jess? Sometimes I scout. I'll do the contracts, agreements, negotiate the price. Once we get the location set, then I find parking lots, crew parking, base camp parking, truck parking, put in the permits, kind of like being an event planner, but planning a wedding every week. When sag after it joined picket lines in July, the industry had already been reeling for months from the domino effect of the writer strike. I know that this strike is not easy. In fact, it's hard. It's very hard. And with the passing of time, it's going to even get harder. And just last week, a show of force as A-listers hit the picket lines. Here to support the union as a proud sag after member. And Margot Robbie, Oscar Isaac, Cal Penn, and John Cho, among the biggest names to join in solidarity. Actors, writers, makeup artists, crew members, all fighting as one as the sag after and Writers Guild strikes wage on. And thousands of people like Jess are having a hard time making ends meet. I was collecting unemployment, which is helpful, but not survivable. Not in L.A., yeah. really. Yeah, it's $450 a week, and that is not a lot. So, yeah, I borrowed money. Uh, I got money from my dad. I got my aunt randomly sent me a check. I did food stamps for the first time. Between the WGA and SAG-AFTRA, over 170,000 people are out of work. And while Jess isn't in either union, she's one of more than 700,000 Californians included in the industry. This has affected everyone top to bottom. It's not just writers and actors. It affects the sound editors that work on these, on these shows. It affects the production designers who build the sets, the cinematographers who shoot, the editors that put these shows together. Both unions have their own contracts and lists of demands for the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. 